nose, lights, camera, action When I step into the limelight Easily adapted to the high life Dressed to impress like it's prom night And when you live in top shelf You know you gotta set the bar high Had the same dreams since we was kids Big tips, big cars, and even bigger cribs Never thought that it would happen just the way it did Fast forward that now, it's just the way we live That's good food and drinks My mood makes you think that this life's made for a king The room starts to shake, so smooth if you blink You might just miss the whole thing It's just a different way to move in the high so many different things to do within the highlight Let's go food and drinks, but what makes you think that this life's made for a king? So many different things to do within the highlight Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the weekend video. So we are at the Granite Games. I am getting my ankles warmed up for the first event, which is a one rep max snatch. Typically not an event I love to see. And we are actually gonna be kicking off at 7.15 p.m. Eastern time, which is actually, sorry, 7.15 p.m. Central time, which is actually set 8.15 Eastern. Um, so it's a little bit late, but I'm excited. The atmosphere here is electric, and it's just gonna be really exciting to get back on the competition floor. And this is a perfect example of an event that I can only focus on me. I can do what I am capable of doing and stick to the plan. So I'll update you after we're done. Uh, but they did switch up the event as well. So it's no longer six minute window, but now we get three attempts. So one attempt every 20 seconds. And it should be fun, it should be a good time. So stay tuned. Recapping the snatch, the snatch could not have gone better. I definitely probably opened lighter than I should have. So I opened at 150, that just flew up. Like it felt so light when I was on the platform. And the reason I opened at 150 is because I had a couple misses in the back. And coming into the event, we thought it was a six minute window to lift. So I haven't practiced those 20 second increments and I knew that the field was strong. So I wanted to make sure that I made my lifts and I didn't make any stupid mistakes. So I needed a confidence builder. I've been in the seven years and I still need those confidence builders. So I opened at 150, that just blew up. I loaded 165 on the bar and quickly changed it to 170 because at that point I was excited and I was really feeling like I had the confidence and I was snappy. So I went for 170, which I'm pumped about. That's actually a competition PR. And then from there, the plan was 175, but I went ahead and threw 180 on and I felt like I nailed it. It felt so smooth and so easy. And in hindsight, it's always like, man, maybe I should have gone for 185. But again, our goal was to make those three lifts. And if you would have told me beforehand I snatched 180, I would have been ecstatic. Even though the scoreboard showed, I think, 14th, there was a large tie for 14th, I'm super happy with my effort. That was one I wasn't feeling super confident going into, especially when they changed the event at the last minute. So 180, pretty pumped about it. That's a competition PR, and that's, that's what I had in me, and I felt like that's maybe all I could do. I do think I'm sitting on an actual PR coming up soon, but that will save that for another day. Event number two, the dumbbell thruster event, again, was changed a little bit from what we thought. So the way they had the dumbbell set up on the field, they made it very easy for spectators to see where we were. However, what happened was they cut the runs down. So I think our first run actually ended up only being about 130 to 140 meters. The second run was maybe 150, 160, and you can see, I think only the very last run was actually even close to 200 meters. So I had a really good game plan, but cutting off those meters made a really big difference for me because the dumbbells were heavy and they were challenging. And what was happening is I was getting back to the dumbbells faster than what we practiced. So I had less rest. And that less rest really, 
accumulated by the end of the workout. So I kind of, to be honest, feel like I botched this workout just a little bit. Um, it was nowhere near what we practiced and my game plan kind of completely went out the window. I had a plan A, I went to plan B, that still failed, so I went to plan C, and I ended up pulling out a sixth in the event, which I'm pretty happy about. I thought I could do better, but the field is strong, and with the less running for me, it ended up being more thrusters all around. So I'm happy with my effort, but I still feel like I have a lot more left in the tank, and I'm excited to get to some of these CrossFit events leading into day two. So here we are, we are at the morning of day two. This competition is a little bit different because we have all day. So we actually don't even kick off until 7 p.m. tonight and then I think we go closer to 9 p.m. for event four. So we have event three and event four. Event three is actually different than what we thought it was. They swapped the order of the events on us. So again, quite a few changes, but that's okay. I'm looking forward to this event today. So it has a few of my favorite movements, which is ring muscle up, squat cleans, and burpees over the bar. Then it's gonna be followed up with the tank. So I haven't actually gotten to use this tank, but I'm looking forward to the challenge and just trying to continue working my tail off to fight and to call my way back up the leaderboard. So they call it moving day and I'm hoping to do some moving. Then event four is going to be the handstand walk, skier deficit handstand pushup, skier handstand walk, which is a super fast, super fun event. So that should also be really fun. And it's at night, so we shouldn't burn our hands. We still may wear gloves because even last night we could just feel the heat radiating off of the field and it's gonna be baking outside all day today. It's gonna be 97 to 100 degrees today, so that's why they pushed our events back, which is really nice, so they, we all don't get heat exhaustion. But looking forward to day two, and that was just my recap of day one. I think it's really important to remember that, especially in competition, not everything goes to plan and that it's important to continue fighting. So just keep fighting because there's a lot of points left and a lot of things can happen. A lot of movement can happen and you don't wanna walk away feeling like you didn't give your best effort. So on to day two, we'll see what that has in store and hopefully I'll have a really good recap for you guys leading into day three.